Hi everyone, I am Ravikan Sharma. In this video, we will be learning about what are HTML inline and block level elements. Do you know every HTML element has a default display value, depending on what type of element it is. There are two types of HTML elements present that is inline and block level element. The meaning of inline and block are present in their names means the content inside a block level element is displayed in a new block and in case of inline element the content is displayed in the current line. Now let's understand the properties of a block level element. A block level element always start on a new line and the browser automatically adds some space or margin before and after the element. Uh, for example, when we add a paragraph tag, the browser automatically adds some space after and before the paragraph. That is called the block level element. A block level element always keep up the full width available. Means if we have a width of 500 pixel and the element need only 100 pixels of width, then if the element is block level, then it will consume whole the 500 pixels of width. So this is called a block level element which are always start in a new line and which will consume whole width available. Two most commonly used block level elements are paragraph and a division tag. You will notice that whenever you use a paragraph one after the other, the new paragraph always start in a new line. It will not start in the current line. There are different types of block level elements are present in HTML that is heading from h1 to h6, paragraph, unordered list, ordered list, list, header, and navigation bar. After the block level element, let us understand what are inline elements. An inline element does not start on a new line and it only take up as much width it is necessary. Means if an element require 100 pixels of width, then it will take only 100 pixels of width. It will not consume whole the 500 pixels of width. But in case of block level element, it will consume whole width available. A span tag is most commonly used inline element. And there are many inline element present in HTML that is anchor tag, bold tag, button tag, strong tag and much more inline elements are present in HTML. For better understanding the inline and block level element, let us take an examples in VS Code. Now let's open the boilerplate with using the shift plus exclamation mark and hit the enter. Change the title name. I'm going to use the paragraph and the span tag to demonstrate the inline and block level elements. So type a paragraph. This is a paragraph. Now we will apply some style to this paragraph to understand the block level element. To apply the style, we are going to use the internal CSS. So we have to type the style tag style and hit enter. We are going to apply the style on a paragraph. So we will type P and let's say it's background color red. Right click, open with live server. You can see the paragraph have inbuilt top margin and left margin. If you don't know about the margin and all that things, don't worry about that. We will learn about the CSS in upcoming videos. Now you will notice the paragraph tag will take the whole width of the browser window. It starts from here and goes like this. So this, this is because paragraph is a block level element. Now let's type another paragraph to see that a paragraph element will, will enter into a new line or it will start in the current line. Okay, now let's see in the browser what would happen. You can see both the paragraph have the full width to the browser window and both the paragraph are in a new line or both the paragraph have different different lines and both have inbuilt margin. You can see left margin, top margin and bottom margin. This is a block level element. This always start in a new line. Now I'm going to use a inline element that is used inside a line itself. Let's say we will use a span tag. Span tag this is a span tag. So I'm going to apply some CSS to this span tag so that I we can visualize the span tag. So type span, then background color. 
let's see the output in the browser you can see the span tag this is a span tag start inside the paragraph line it will not go to the new line you can observe it will not take up the full width of the browser window it just take the small size as it required but in case of paragraph it consume the whole width of the browser window because paragraph is a block level element and span is a inline element so it takes up the space as it required it will not consume whole the space inline element does not have its inbuilt margin or spacing you can observe that it would it would not have its margin or spacing so these are the basic example of inline and block level element now let's take some other examples to demonstrate the block level or inline elements we'll take a paragraph type lorem and 30 then vs code automatically generate 30 words and hit enter if we want to wrap these words in a format then we will go to view then here world wrap okay this holds the paragraph in a back, uh, black color and the background is red now we want this dollar to this line will be in different color so this would happen with the help of inline element now let's apply a inline element span to this line so we will use the span tag here and the, we will change the span color this means all the span present in the document will have the same background color that is ls blue now let's change the color green color okay now let's see the output in the browser now you can see the content in the span tag is in green color and having a white background this is because this is an inline tag or inline element due to which it will not consume all the width and it will not go to the new line okay friends this is it for now i hope you understand the inline and block level elements i will catch you up in the next one till then keep learning